Welcome back to part four of Mario Sunburn. Let's get back into it. Um, I was thinking about this uh, while I was in the bathroom. That uh, we were talking about favorite Mario games. I completely forgot that Mario Party exists. I think Mario Party 6 and Mario Party All-Stars are pr probably pretty up there for me. Also, frames, hello. Quality of life mod, by the way. I can't even maintain 60 frames. Shake my head. And it does not like this level. Oh, hold on. Shadow Mario being here is dropping the frames. I've got to stop him. He's a me he's a menace. Camera, please. I like Bowser because I like turtles. Fair. I do appreciate that the Shadow Mario star is just like a spawn where he dies. What is the eighth shine sprite here? I don't remember what it is. Oh, that's the Yoshi one. I think I did that. Um, let's do the Yoshi one now. So though, the Yo getting a Yoshi in this level is kind of a pain in the ass. Because he asks, oh, he only asks for a durian. And the only way to get a durian is to uh, is to get one from the fucking fruit vending machine. Uh, and hope for the best is the best way I can put it. It's actually quite annoying. So you have to come up here. Or no, I think I have to do it on the other side. You have to go to whichever one has like their top kind of uh, protruding. Uh, and then do this. That's not a that's not a durian. That's a pineapple. I would recommend for your sanity, uh, moving shit out of the way when he uh, when you drop it down because the durian is the only fruit you can't pick up. So if it just like bounces off a fruit that's already there, you're gonna have a bad time. But I think it doesn't spawn until I think it has to go through the cycle. I think you can kind of safely spawn other fruit first. I was wrong and I got really lucky. Okay. All right. I've had that happen where it spawns and immediately falls off the side, and I want to lose my mind. Also, if you lose Yo if you lose your Yoshi, you're gonna have to do that shit again. So, try not to lose your Yoshi. So there are three different kinds of platforms. I forget what each one does. Uh, I think the orange ones just stay in place. I think the blue one or the purple ones go up. I think that's their gimmick. Where the fuck are the platforms? Uh. Uh. <laughs> um. <laughs> I think you killed them? Isn't that how you're supposed to do that? Am I crazy? I thought you had to, uh. I thought you had to spray them, and then they turned into platforms. They'll respawn eventually. I think the durian doesn't make platforms. Ah, uh, unfortunate. So you actually don't want the orange fruit right now. I want the ones that uh, I want the. I think I want pink ones. I'm not sure. Let's try eating a banana. Let me double check if this is red. I think it. I think. I think this is the color. <clears throat> I could have sworn the purple still made platforms. Something's going wrong here. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I'll try the orange one. Yeah, maybe just maybe just stick my tongue in their big hole and that'll make them work. That wasn't it. <laughs> that wasn't the answer. I love the orange one because it just looks like puke. So, let me guess here. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Oh my god, the platforms are invisible. No. <laughs> no. I definitely bounced into something when I, uh, when I did that just now. Hold on. 
Yep. And then water turns them back. Oh my god, dude. No, not like this. No. <laughs> Oh, no. Um, alright. Alternative plan. Let's see if this works. Uh, I know it won't, because I need to... It won't work, because you need to, uh... You need to knock that shit off the thing. I think I'll just reset the level. Or rather than resetting the level, I'll just, uh... I'll just go do the secret coins right now. You spray the invisible platforms with the juice? No. Oh, it's to show like where they are? Oh man, maybe. Boy, that doesn't sound ideal. Fucking absolutely nailed it. Perfect. No notes. I love wasting water. <laughs> so extra. Let's try this. I think you need the purple platforms for it, though. Because I think you need them to uh, to move. But I'm not sure. Maybe it's just easier. How do I get rid of this? There we go. Oh, I wonder if Yoshi's juice doesn't go down. I wonder if it just, like, stays full uh, in this mod. Uh, I don't think that's going to work. I don't think I can see... Oh, I can kind of see the platforms. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's no way. I can't do that. I'm not... I'm not skilled enough. I'll say it. I'm not good enough to do it that way. But, like, I'll try. I'll give it a go. What's the worst that could happen? Dude, what am I doing? Yeah, no, I think you need the purple ones specifically, because I think those are the ones that, like, uh, go to the side. That's how you, like, clear the gap over here. Yeah, I can't do it. Skill issue streamer washed? Yeah, I guess so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna not do that. And if it do, and if, and if Yoshi continues to not, to, to create invisible platforms, then guess what? I'm just gonna skip that, sh uh, that shine. It's one of my least favorite anyway, so I'm not really... I'm not really that bothered if I have to skip it, so. I think the win condition for this is just to get 70 uh, shine sprites, so I'm not really worried about it. Why are the wind guys spawning here? Can you fucking relax? I hate everything. I'm gonna run out of water trying to get here. There's good to good send. Okay. Under is uh, providing us with a prophecy here. Nailed it. Perfect. No nuts. Did it switch back? Oh no. Fine. I'll make it work. Sorry, phone in pocket. No problem. Nice. <laughs> I'm a lurker. Welcome to lurking life. How bad could it be? So don't stop. I'll make it work. Oh my god, I'm wasting so much time on this one though. I need I need to appear. Hold on. Oh no. Nick, please. No. I'm fucking panicking. No god damn it. It wouldn't let me uh do the rocket because I got bounced off. Do I still have the rocket? I'll give it one more shot. 
<laughs> then I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna back out and go back. Uh, <laughs> no. Why have I done this to myself? The only thing that can make this worse is if it was the fucking turbo nozzle. This is, uh, this is certainly uh, a run of all time. I, I gotta line up the shadows. It's fine, I don't need the one up. <laughs> Fucking saved it. <laughs> saved it. Wasting a lot of time on coin five. There we go. Fucking brazy, dude. <laughs> I can't believe I shot the gap. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How do I miss these giant rotating blocks? I can't believe I went to the tiniest space. <laughs> Alright, one more. Uh, what happened? I blacked out. I don't know what happened there. I blacked out. I think someone else stole my controller for, uh, for a second. I got mind controlled. I was possessed. Um, uh, uh, I was iron deficient. You can't blame me for that. Oh shit, up to 66 hours? You missed it. We were up to 70 hours at one point. And, uh, we can thank the wonderful Under a Bridge for that. Who just said, you know what? I don't think Nick has streamed enough in the last two months. Let's really get those numbers up. Okay, I, I gotta make this now. I wanna make a good time. Okay, perfect. I really love making things harder for myself for no reason. Big fan. Oh, come on. Not like this. You know, I was thinking to myself as I was doing this, this feels familiar. Have I done this already? And I was like, no, it would tell me if I've done it already. Uh, so, <sighs> the good news is, I proved a very important, uh, I proved something very important today, which is, uh, <laughs> I don't know, give me a second. Oh, so there must be another hidden shrine, or there must be another hidden shrine in this level somewhere. Because I think there's only one uh, secret level. So, there must be another secret shrine. I don't actually know what that one is. Is there like a hidden bird somewhere? Is there like a something I can spray? So I want to do me a favor and look up where the uh, where the other secret shrine is, or shine is in uh, this level. I actually don't know where it is. Hundred coins. I got the hundred coin one already. There's uh there's two secret shrines to every world, uh, except for Isle Delfino where there's a fuck ton. Um, sometimes it's just two. There's two secret levels and you just have to get the red coins in both of them. Sometimes there's like a hidden like in um in Gelato Beach there's one where you have to get all the red coins in the secret level, but also there's just like a hidden little like thing where you get the the shine. I don't know where it is for this one though. The hundred coins is counted separately, though. So there's, uh, I think, I think there's 11 shines per area. Blooper race under 40 seconds. I did that one already. Or do you have to do it again? I thought that's just episode two. I thought you had to get that under 40 seconds, like, in order to, to get the shine. No, Shadow Mario is not a uh, secret either. So there's the eight episode. Wow, that was really lucky. So there's the eight episodes that they list, and then there's uh, two hidden ones. 
in every level. And then there's a coin once. There's 11 shines total. You gotta do it again? I mean, that's fine. I mean, I can beat it in 40 seconds without much trouble. Hey, do you wanna work? Do you wanna do me a favor and not make invisible platforms? Ah, oh, there we go. I don't know why I was broken before, but here we are. Wait, shit. Oh no. <sighs> I didn't think I was gonna make it. <laughs> oh man. I gotta land this too? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, it might be easier to do this. Hey guys, what's going on? Ah, here we go. So you can get a, uh... So yeah, those go forward, and then I think the pink ones go up. So you can make like a little elevator for yourself. Oh, if you don't fucking make it way up there. Oh my god, dude. I'm the best. Ah! I got greedy. I got greedy. That's my own fault. I think you were just over 40 and you did a fire pox need under 45 and you just made that. Oh, okay. Well. I mean that's still easy enough. I think that does I think I do remember that now. I don't remember ever doing the coconut bit. You can do it with the purple, uh, with the purple platforms. The pink one just makes it easier. But also, if you're more reckless, then you're gonna get punished for it. Uh <laughs> is the other answer. It's a little easier because it goes up, so you can just like skip some steps, but if you don't land correctly, then. So it's more risky, but a little easier. I feel like I just spin jump with Yoshi up like a freak. I mean, you can do... That's what I like about this game a lot, is that there's alternate solutions to basically every one of these. Um, I knew I missed it. You gotta watch the shadow. Speaking of... Uh, oh, I was actually... Maz, you might know about this. I feel like you, you keep... You're keyed into rumors like this. Did you hear rumors that they're gonna do a PS2 collection of uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh games. I heard I heard a, a rumor uh, that Yu-Gi-Oh is going to remaster some of the, the older like PS2 gen games. I don't think it'll do more until there's less fruit under it. We kind of to wait. There we go. They did the GBA one on Switch. Wait, what? What GBA one? Or Game Boy, whatever random Japan only shit. Is there like a is there Japanese only uh Yu-Gi-Oh Switch collection? I didn't know about that. They announced some Yu-Gi-Oh collection switch in PC recently. Oh, did they? I feel like I didn't I didn't catch it as an actual announcement. I should see what did they say which games are gonna be in it? Cause that'd be pretty cool. Fuck not this again. Okay. I'm gonna play it safe this time. I'm gonna do it the way the game intended. Check gaming chat. I'm, I'm, I'm busy at the moment. Got my hands on a controller. I'm busy gaming right now. Oh my god. I cannot believe I didn't make that. Oh, I thought Yoshi had so much more range. I should have just fucking shot from his mouth as I was jumping. What the fuck was I doing? I keep forgetting you don't actually need to get Yoshi to that final platform. You just need to spray with it. Starburst are making me hungry? Yeah. Maybe game better, I don't know. Well, I've got time. Uh, yeah, I agree, Nintendo Life. I don't care, take my cookies, whatever you wanna do. Bring, uh, the collection will include titles that weren't previously released in the West. Uh, God, this is so long. 
Multiple games, the first two uh, revealed include the Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance titles, Dual Monsters 4, Battle of the Great Duelist, and Expert 2. Uh, previously, Japan only releases... Uh, interesting. Uh, so is it just like a giant collection and they've only revealed two of them so far? Is that what's going on? You're running out of stream time, so better hurry. Uh, I don't think 66 hours is running out of time. Also, under how dare you call me trash? How dare you disrespect me like this? Someone have to get punished? Go back in your fucking corner. How dare you? Think about what you've done. Glad they remember them at least. Yeah, I guess so. I wonder if they're just like looking for free money. You wouldn't. Under, I'm not doing this this bratty sub routine with you. This is not how one gets an Undertale playthrough done. By insulting their streamer. I'm gonna throw you in a corner where you can only watch Yu-Gi-Oh videos. You're gonna have to stay there. Time to assume Konami just forget about Yu-Gi-Oh games. I guess that's fair. I mean, but what else does Konami have at this point? They basically just have Yu-Gi-Oh games. Like, what else are they fucking doing? Hiring someone else to do the Metal Gear re remaster? Like... I guess they, they probably put a lot of stock in a Master Duel, and maybe it's not doing as well as they thought. Let's throw more money, and you'll get more Yu-Gi-Oh. Don't threaten me. I'll do. I'll become a Yu-Gi-Oh only streamer. Rip Pro Evo. Oh, is Pro Evo done too? I want another Falsebound Kingdom. I want Falsebound Kingdom, Duelist the Roses, and Coliseum, uh, or Caps Monster Coliseum. But like, add in more Yu-Gi-Oh monsters, and add in like more like duelists. Let me see what. J Let me throw in Jaden and Yusei in the. Uh, in the those weird ass worlds, like I just want to see more. I fucking I didn't spin jump. Touch up the balance? No, leave the balance where it is. Those games are a mess. Those the roses on Steam might be generational. That'd be really cool. There's a really big duel with the roses fandom. It's some free to play bullshit now, like FIFA Ultimate Team, but with way worse gameplay than the older Evo games. Oh, fun. The mods for that might go crazy. Yeah, I mean, the mods for normal Duelist the Roses are already pretty crazy. I like this not HD chain uh, texture. <laughs> also, all that swimming in the water and I forgot to, to grab more. I love the experimental Yu-Gi-Oh games. Same, I wish they did more. I feel like they don't weaponize Yu-Gi-Oh as a brand enough. Which is a really fucked up thing for me to say, and it's absolutely because I work in uh, in, in gaming. Um, like I feel like they they just like just do the card game, and I'm like, you can you can go back to making weird shit. They kind of tried something weird with Cross Duel, but it was a it was just mobile game, so it was like you know garbage. There's only so much you can do with uh, with that formula too. But I wish they would try some more weird shit. But then again, I don't know how well those games sold. I don't know if like Duelist of the Roses and like those ones like sold well. Or if they were just like... I wonder if like the main feedback was people just being like, I wish this was an actual Yu-Gi-Oh game instead. Well, it's like Yu-Gi-Oh should be a competitor for Pokemon, they don't even try. I mean, Konami doesn't like making games. They've made that abundantly clear. They do like the bare minimum. They don't, they don't make games. Konami does one thing and it's they do remasters sometimes. I almost did it again. Okay, we're just, we're just, we're just, we're just, we're just gaming. I don't know why I can't make this jump anymore. Thank you. Shouldn't take an entire uh, an eternity to max level your marshals in Fallsbound Kingdom. Yeah, it takes a long time to to level in Fallsbound Kingdom. That's why it's like I have this problem with Pokemon games too. Where they'll introduce like a new monster or a new Pokemon, but I'm like, I'm so deep in the game that the time it would take to level up this monster would be so not worth it because I would have to spend so much time like doing this. Especially with Fossilbound Kingdom where it's like, there isn't like a, a way to grind. You just have to keep playing the game. So like, if you, you basically just like pick monsters and keep using them. Like there are some exceptions that like monsters you get late that end up being like really good and worth it, but not a lot. Even the Silent Hill remake is looking poor. Yeah. Something I should have done before, by the way, guys. It's just fucking... There we go. Now I don't need Yoshi anymore, so if I, if Yoshi falls off, I can just grab the rocket pack and come back here. I don't know why I fucking didn't do that before. 
Monster on Joey's campaign and God bless him. Yeah, exactly. I'm not I'm not leveling up Rocket Warrior. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was the other thing too is that they put all the like cool combination monsters in like all the different campaigns, which like makes them impossible to use. Because, like, you're never going to make Gate Guardian because all three pieces are in the different campaigns. So by the time you get all three pieces, like, the game's over. I've talked about this before, where I wish games, like, didn't do that. I wish games didn't, like, give you these, re like, really cool items, but then you can't use them. The only way to use them is if you just, like, fuck around in, like, the end game. Like, uh, what's another good example of that? Um, that I, I played recently. Like, uh... <clears throat> I'm trying to remember. I mean, it's, you've seen it before. It's just like, the game will be like, hey, 100% the ga this game, and you get this overpowered shit, and then you get the overpowered shit, and it's like, okay. You've done it everything, though. You 100% the game, so there's nothing for you to do with this anymore. I'm like, oh, sick. Could you have, like, given to me, like, a little earlier? Like, an actually good example of this is, uh... Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh... In Final Fantasy VII Remake, if you 100% the game and do all, like, the, the shit, you know, okay, this isn't working. If you, like, basically do, uh, go through a, for a 100% run, I think you can get the most broken accessory in the game, like, uh, on the second to last chapter. So you can get, a uh, so you can be really overpowered for the last chapter, which is nice. I like that they did it that way. At least it gives you, like, a chance to use them. Or you can use Baham, or you can get Baham at, on New Game Plus, and then just use them on New Game Plus. A lot of older Fire Emblem games will give you, like, the cool super weapons only in the final chapter. That's very boring. It'll give me the cool shit, like, five date maps for the end games. I have time to fuck up. Yeah, exactly. The Worm Hero Blade in FF12. Yeah, I kind of remember that, too. I just feel like there's such a, like, it's just such a strange game design choice. I'm like, you were so close. You were so close to greatness. I feel like some games are getting better about that, though. Like the games that have the OP shit behind early access super bosses. Yeah, I think a good example of that is Mario: The Thousand Year Door, where you can uh, you can challenge the hundred the pit of hundred trials at any time. Like basically, any time from chapter one, you can challenge it. But it only uh, you'll only be able to do it if you're like at least a little bit leveled up. So, but when you beat it, you get like one of the most broken badges in the game. Like I like shit like that. Like, uh, I've talked about this before, I don't do the Pit of Hunter Trials until I beat the game now, because you can pretty much, you can pretty easily do it, like, by this, before you even start Chapter 5 at this point. Oh. That's why I think New Game Plus is such an important feature. Yes, to an extent. I think, like, New Game Plus is fun, especially as, like, a trophy hunter. New Game Plus is fun as, like, a victory lap. Like, when I do New Game Plus, I want to beat the shit out of the game with, like, the most broken setup possible. But, like, Final Fantasy has been doing this lately. Like, they did this with 16 and they did it with 7 Remake. Where they're like, okay, here... Oh my god. <laughs> this, this, this one controls like shit. But they'll be like, hey, here's the, uh... Here's hard mode. So, play New Game Plus, but all of the enemies are scaled to your difficulty and have, like, really annoying mechanics. And I'm like, that's not fun. You're just making me play the entire game again, and you didn't even give me my victory lap. Like, this sucks. Like, hard mode New Game Plus is not fun. It's just a slog. It's like, hey, here's that game that you already played and nothing is different with it, except enemies are stronger. Are you having fun yet? Is this fun? Are you enjoying this? I'm like, no. Give me normal New Game Plus, where I can just, like, beat it in, like, three hours. I try to jump. I like that 7R made it slightly different. 16 is real shit. I mean, 16 adds more monsters and stuff, but it's just, like, so boring. And I gonna see Madam Web have fun, folks? Oh, Jesus. You're a braver man than I am, Anya. Good luck. That movie looks bad. Also, this music is permanently stuck on, like, the opening of the old Disney logo. Like, it sounds like that, but like on the first note. Yeah, music hello. 
My favorite thing about Madame Web, like, my favorite thing that you can tell it's a bad movie is because uh, Dakota Johnson, or whatever the fuck her name is, uh, has not paid attention at all. And it's just like, when people ask her questions about it, she's just sort of like, oh, that, uh, yeah, sure. Like, the fact that she said she hasn't seen it yet is really funny. Fuck. Hold on. I'd like my music back, please. I wish that when they spawned you back in the main area, they spawned you at the same place that you leave. I think that would that would be cooler. So now I gotta walk my ass back there. So I think you have to use the perp, uh, the pink one, if you want to get under forty seconds, which is a pain in the ass because it controls like like shit. It's been a while since I've tried it. Whoa, hold on. There's <laughs> there's no wind up for this anymore? <coughs> Am I crazy? Didn't you have to, didn't you used to have to hold this down for a little bit like you do at the rocket pack, or is it always gone like immediately? It's my first time using it uh, in uh, in Sunburn. This thing seems faster too, like what the fuck? This thing is nonsense. You jump that wall, you try to jump it, it makes a lot uh, easier. Uh, it's like a five second time save. It's way faster, what the fuck? That's funny. I was like, I could have sworn it had a wind up. Yeah, I guess I'll try jumping that wall. Ooh, that was close. Oh, that's gonna cost me. Ah, there we go. I see now. Yeah, that's pretty big. That's pretty big. <laughs> that makes that pretty easy. I uh, I don't normally fuck with turbo, the turbo nozzle, because it's not really worth it. But if it's that fast, maybe I will use it. I believe that's everything on Rico Harbor. I think we're done. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. Come here, you son of a bitch. Come here. Oh, fuck no. I wasn't ready for that. Oh, wow, I almost got him. I guess we can just run in a circle here if you want to. That's fine. I can do that. Oh my god, Nick, please. Rats. Alright. Let's see if this- ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! I can't stop! Ah! 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 <laughs> I think I just grabbed the blue coin because I smashed right into it. Help, please! I can't stop! I'm gonna die! Ah. Egan should have invented the sniper nozzle. That's why I think it'd be really funny if there was a, uh, a sequel to this game, because it'd be really cool to see, uh... to see, like, other nozzles. Like, maybe, like, one or two. Nintendo announced the Direct. Oh, okay. What's, what's gonna be in this one? From trash to fast, true. It's the partner one, so smaller shit. Gotcha. I can't wait to watch it for so that all of you guys can go, uh, that was trash. That's the worst direct yet. Because every direct is the worst direct yet. Am I ready for the PS6? Oh, yeah, didn't they say that recently? That Didn't they say, uh, PS5 is nearing the end of its, uh, the end of its life cycle? I mean, if it's going to be anything like the beginning of the PS5 life cycle, that'll be really funny when they release a console and then nobody can buy it for two years because scalpers are undefeated. Literally not a single launch has beaten scalpers, to my knowledge. I think they're they're an indomitable wall. So that'll be fun. That'll be really cool. 
we will not looking will not be looking back fondly on the PS5 generation. You think? Do you think the PS5 doesn't really have that many bangers? I think the PS5, and I guess the, the, to the same extent the uh, the Series X, uh, neither of them really had exclusives because everything went to PC this generation. I mean, I wouldn't say. Well, this is the other thing that's that's weird to say with the end of the life cycle shit because I'm like, they still make PS4 games. Like, how the fuck could it be? How could we be ready for the PS6 when they're still actively making games that run on the PS4? Like. Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, I just can't, like, I just, I just bought that game. It just came out at the end of January, and it has a PS4 version. Like, good fucking luck. Like, there's just no way. But that, that'd be interesting. Like, I wonder if they'll, uh, I wonder if they'll do the, uh, I wonder if they'll keep making games PS4 compatible when the PS6 comes out, or if, like, every single PS6 game is also going to work on the PS5. Like, they're in such a weird spot. I don't know what they do here. Like, I don't know what, how do you, how do you recover from, like, this weird-ass generation? I don't know, you can hop up here. How do I, how do I leave? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna, uh... There's like two actual PS5 exclusives and not on PS5 on PS4. Yeah, there's like there's only I mean it's funny because there were a good amount of PS5 exclusives, but then they got ported to PC. <laughs> so now there's like no PS5. There's like two PS5 exclusives, which like on one hand that's pretty good. Like that's not a bad thing. Like that that uh the exclusive wall is changing. Oh my god, my Firefox just reset. Firefox, come back. Are you are you here? Am I streaming still? What the fuck was that all about? Yeah, you can hear the music slow down because the computer is like, I don't know what's happening. Hopefully in the next launch, whatever it is, doesn't take two years to actually get into the hands of most consumers. Timer died? Oh yeah, hold on. It's still there. It was just like weirdly, uh, weirdly glitching. But yeah, so that's what I mean. It's like, I can't imagine, like, the next console generation because I'm like, logistically, I'm like, what the fuck do we do here? Do we, like, go back to making games only available for the next gen console? Or do you, like... Like, clearly there was a market study or something that showed that, like, if you make a PS4 version, it's gonna sell better than if you just make it exclusive to the PS5. Like, clearly that, that that's something that, like, actually happened. But by that same token, I'm like... So then why are they getting ready for the PS6 if, like market research shows they're not even ready for like like the PS5 hasn't even like gotten to everyone yet like I, I genuinely just don't understand it like I don't know what they're gonna do with this what the fuck you saved six hours off the time what was gone please add that back yeah okay nice fucking try to do. I won't have this slander against uh, against the timer. You guys keep making these jokes, I will cut it in half and say fuck all of you. And this will be you. You'll be like, wait, no, I didn't want this. Now we're trapped. Ah. I won't have jokes that the timer that I'm shaving the timer when it's at 66 fucking hours. If I was gonna shave it, it would be at three hours right now. How dare you? How dare you call me into call my credibility into account? I won't stand for it. I also think it's funny that only one person was like, "Why don't you just put it on like 1.25 speed and see if anyone notices?" And I was like, "No, because you guys would fucking notice. You absolutely would notice that. I couldn't get away with that. <laughs> like, there's no way." Um, what am I going to do now? Now that the music has gone away. Uh, what did I not finish? 
Oh, right. I gotta do peanut park again. Okay. That's fine. I actually, you know what I'm surprisingly not that familiar with? I don't actually know all the shines in Isle Delfino. I only know a couple of them. Uh, I feel like I should know more, but I don't. My goal is going to be try to complete all the levels and get as many in Delfino Plaza as I can and then just kind of wrap it up. Not today, but like for the whole playthrough. Oh god, I hate roller coaster balloons. Not 100% let's play, shake my head. True. <clears throat> what, a, what a fake gamer. I think there's a way where you can... Uh, I think there's a way you can, like... Uh, clip through and just, like, enter that, that this area without, uh, without having to go through all of this nonsense. But I don't remember what it is. Okay, can you get back here, you son of a bitch? Hold on. It's too hot. I need my hat back. I can't be naked Mario. The sensors. They won't stand for this. It's still Cappy. Cappy doesn't exist yet. Just my normal ass hat. Do you guys remember we're at the end of, uh... At the end of Mario Odyssey? They, uh... Cappy restores Mario's hat because they don't want to explain that they don't want to carry Cappy into other games. <laughs> so they just like get rid of it. <laughs> oh, I was just gonna say, how how annoying could this be? Uh, and the game quickly told me. What is the time load on this one? Not great. Okay. Definitely missed one or two. That's okay. Oh uh, boy. This is really annoying actually. <laughs> Having to keep track of where these are and like which ones are about to go. I think the rest are over here. I think there's only six over here. Right? Cappy was a funny gimmick at least. I don't mind Cappy, but it's also not my favorite gimmick. I don't think there's anything over here. Oh, I have 10 seconds left. I wonder if I'll make it. What do you guys think? This is one I'm not as familiar with. I don't think I normally go for this one. Oh, okay. Well, at least I know where the last two are now. Wow, this is, a, this is kind of a tight timer. I'm a little surprised by this. They're usually a little bit more, uh, more lenient. I really love the mobility Cappy gives you. I can see that. I never really got it down. I think that's why I'm kind of like take it or leave it with Cappy, because I never really like mastered him. I just sort of like... Oh, uh, okay. Didn't want to do that. Oh, boy. <laughs> I just get worse every time I play. Every time I do a level, I just get a little bit worse at it. Which is not how that's supposed to go. Oh, uh... Not related to anything we're talking about, but I wanted to remember to tell chat. I'm, uh, I'm caught up on Free Run now. Uh, and I'm caught up on Season 2 of Mashal. Uh, both really great anime about uh, about magic. Which is kind of weird that it worked out that way. And they're very different. Very, very different. Oh my god. I'm washed. I left this one way back here. Okay. I really gotta speed up here. But, uh, yeah, I'm caught up on Free Run, uh, and it's great. Free Run, uh, is really, really good. And, uh, Mashal continues to be amazing. I'm glad I got into Mashal really early. Uh, I had a f my friend, uh, Kevin from work was actually the one who turned me on to Mashal. And, uh, it was an absolute amazing recommendation. Uh, I think I'm gonna start either Shangri-La, Frontier, or Solo Leveling, because I know those are the ones that people are talking about right now. What would you guys recommend? What, what, would, what would the weebs in chat recommend? Uh, Shangri-La or solo leveling? I've heard a lot of people are into solo leveling, so I think that might be the one. Wanna watch those two anime too? They're great. Mashal, I would recommend Mashal more. But Freerun is, uh, is still very good. Freerun is more like... It's more slower paced and like more like... 
philosophical, I guess. Trigun Stampede. Uh, I haven't watched the original Trigun, though. You should watch Mashal. Uh, all I know of it is, is, is the theme song. The, the Season 2 theme song? Dude, that theme song fucking slaps. That shit is so good. Bing, bong, bong, bing, bong, bong, bing, bong, bong, boom. Like, it's, just, it's just so fucking stupid. They, the, like, the first time I listened to it, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. And then the second time I listened to it, I was like, this is really, I'm, this is getting stuck in my head. And the third time I was like, dude, this song fucking rips. I don't know Creepy Nuts, uh, uh, personally. I don't know their, I'm not familiar with their work, but that, uh, that slaps for sure. Uh, there's another song I, I learned about recently, which is, uh, uh, it's by Maximum the Hormone, and it was, it wasn't in Chainsaw Man, it was mentioned in Chainsaw Man. There's, uh, there's a scene in the manga where he, uh, he goes to a karaoke place, and they sing, uh, Choo Choo Burra, no, I forget the whole t title, but it's, like, a super long, like, nonsense title. And, uh, that shit slaps. That's a great song. They did Spy X Family's OP? Ah, that is pretty good. I got really interested in Mash I got interested in Mash after the theme song. Yeah, you guys should absolutely watch it. Uh, Maz, I know enough about your taste to tell you that you would you'd really like Mashal. So you should uh, you should definitely give it a shot. Call of the Night as well. I don't know that one. Watch Stampede then the OG. I don't know. I'm not that interested in uh, Trigun. Fucking whiff. I got one at least. Ready? Here we go. Uh, I fucked up. I fucked up so bad. No. Sometimes I'm good at this one and sometimes I'm not. I forget like the good shots to, to fire. Like there's spots where you can hit multiple of them in a, in a row and I only know some of them. Uh, here. I get, I'm just going to start firing. I'm just going to start blasting. You get two laps, right? Just firing away because I'm gonna get other rockets. How many do I have left? Nine? Oof. That is more than I would like to have left. Ah! Oh, what a fucking whiff. Ah! Oh, what a whiff! I'm choking. I'm choking. On stream. Nobody's saving me. Help, guys. I'm choking. Nobody is giving me the Heimlich. What's going on? Why are you, why are you guys forsaking me? Forsaking? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> so bad. I wish you could hit him with water. I feel like I did this way better last time I did this. Ah. <laughs> uh. Last one is. So I think it's all over. Yeah, I don't even know where that last one is. Oh, do you get three laps? Or am I coping right now? Oh, you do get three laps. No, I'm fine then. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see now. Alright. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Come on. I'm ready. I'm not ready. I can't see it anymore. Not a huge fan of the 3D anime look, but the story kept me in. I don't really mind that stuff usually. Uh, where's my shine sprite? Oh, okay. I was like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Just looks weird to me. That's fair. I think the anime I got used to it with was, uh... Full Metal Panic, uh, Invisible War, which is their fourth uh, series. They used uh, some of the 3D CG effects for some of the mech battles, and I was like, oh, this looks weird, and then I watched more of it, and I'm like, it's fine. I'm not really picky about stuff like that. I know some people are like, ride or die. Alright, 
what am I missing here? I'm missing one sh uh, sprite. I'm missing the second secret sprite. Oh, it's the Yoshi one. Right. I can go back and do that one. When the bunch is high enough, 3D can look really good. I just like, in my head, I'm like, dude, we already know that these anime uh, animators are like severely overworked. <laughs> we know this. We know that they're being crunched and everything like that. Like, do we really need to like nitpick so that they're forced to stay in the studio for longer? If something is easier to do, just let them do it, dude. I don't care. Like, <laughs> fuck. Like, unless it's like atrocious, but like, you, we, some, some anime watchers gotta lower their goddamn standards because like these, these fucking animators are being put through hell. And even at, imagine like working fucking twenty hours a week on your art. Uh, I'm sorry, 20 hours a day on your art, and then fucking some fucking loser in the comments is like, this looks like shit. I'm like, dude, <laughs> there are humans behind this shit. You can't just be doing that. You can't be saying that stuff. It's like, no, 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 no. it's gotta be done, it's gotta be done fast, it's gotta look good. I got stuck there for a second. So, I don't know. I try to, I try to have less expectations about that stuff. I get more annoyed with writing than I do with animation. I get annoyed if adaptations suck. I think it was Overlord in some later seasons that outsourced to uh, Chinese studio and looked horrible. Uh, I did a triple jump without actually trying. Where are the red coins here? Oh my god, that's annoying. Oh, okay, here we go. How many of them are here? I don't remember. I think it's just these two. Right? Maybe? I think those are the only ones over there, right? I guess I'll find out. Hold on. One, two, three. More. Find out. <laughs> Honesty is the best policy, but some people are unnecessarily harsh. Well, that's the problem, right? If even if you want to criticize some of these guys, like you can't because they get so much heat already. So, like, we need gamers to and anim I guess gamers. We need we need anime watchers to calm the fuck down first. Then we can start talking about uh, animation quality. I can't have them looking at, like, animation quality that's, like, actually good and then just being like, it's mid. It's mid. I lack a vocabulary. I just think that things are bad. It's mid. Uh, because that's, that's not helpful for anyone. It's mid. I don't know if I'm going to get this one. I don't know where the last coin is. Uh, is it up top here? That's where I would put it. Yep. Oh my god. Oh, oh. oh my god. I'm not gonna make it. That's my own fault. I spent a lot of time looking to make sure I wasn't missing any. People call Berserk Mangas uh, trash. That shit was really damn near detailed in every panel. Yeah, there's like a subsect of fans, and this this goes across medium, across anime, games, uh, TV, movies, everything like that. There's just a subsect of people who are just like, this sucks. And I'm like, okay. Do you have any other cr criticism? It's bad. I'm like, okay, thanks. I think they just ruined fandoms. I think the more invested you get into some sort of shit like this, the worse of a person you become. Like, listen, I'll, I'll give an example. I criticize Kingdom Hearts, and I'm allowed to, because I've put in the fucking work. But, like, <laughs> but it's like, it's it's not like I'm like, fuck the devs, and they should be, like, and, like, making, like, threats to them and shit like that. I'm just like, oh, I didn't like 3 that much. And that's kind of the end of my, my, well, that's not true. I can give more criticism, but I'm not, but it's, I'm not, like, you know, I'm not still writing about Kingdom Hearts 3, like, to this day. Like, there's some people who just take that shit way too seriously. Uh, hello? 
please. Thank you. Uh, it's the 2016 uh, adaptation. It was a big yikes. The, the, but the manga? I don't know anything about it. Why was it bad? Am I missing? I am. I know where it is, though. It's on top of the, the brick over there. Oh my god, I can't make this. exact same spot I was last time. Not like this. Not like this. Come down faster, please. Oh my god. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking lose it. <laughs> oh no. I couldn't see it because the camera. But anyway, enough about this topic. Um, it's, it's bumming me out. What do we... Uh, I think I've probably asked this before, but let me uh, let me just do a check in here. What's uh, what's everyone's favorite? What's oh here we go. I'll put it. I'll put some twang on it. What's everyone's favorite anime that they watched in the last like five years or so? And I'm not talking rewatches. Don't skirt the question. Like, what's an anime that was that you watched in the last five years? Uh, that uh, that either it, it could be an older anime, but something that you saw for the first time in the last like five years or so that you were like, oh shit. This is really good. Like, when's the last time? Let's let, let's talk about positivity. When's the last time you were like, "Oh fuck, am I into this? This rocks." <laughs> um, Chainsaw Man, but that also may have been the only anime I watched in the last five years. Well, besides Dragon Ball, of course. Speak of Dragon Ball, I can't wait for Dragon Ball uh, Muppet Babies, or whatever the fuck they're calling it. That's gonna be great. Okay. Fuck me, I guess. Thank you. Thank you for being nice. Almost overshot? Okay. We're fine. We're fine. All part of the plan. Well, yeah, of course, be specified no rewatch is true. True. <coughs> That's easy. Baki getting picked up by Netflix made me so happy. I don't know what that is. I could give a cop out answer and just say, uh, the Digimon movie, Last, Ad or, uh, Last Adventure, or Digimon Adventure, Last Evolution, Kazuna, I thought was really good. That was probably the favorite anime thing I've watched in the last couple years. Uh, I also watched the Code Geass uh, movie that they did that's like takes place post series. I thought that was really good as well. Just the last five years based on manga I've read, so it's hard to say. That's fair. Actually, it was Dragon Ball Super within the last five years. I think Super came out originally in 2016, so I don't know if it counts. I only know that because I think I saw that date recently. I saw like a post that was like comparing designs over like over the years. All right, that's uh, that's Peanut Park done as well, done and dusted. That's four areas I've completely 100%ed, I think. So we've got a, uh, we've got the hotel, we've got uh, Noki Bay, we have uh, Pinta Village, I think it is, and then uh, uh, Corona Volcano doesn't count. I think that only has like two or three shines. We're doing great. Um, I think we'll probably call a wrap on that for today. I think that's uh, that's good progress. I've done this basically in in, uh, in two streams, four videos. That's not bad. Um, twenty fifteen was the first episode. Uh, I highly recommend Baki. Very fun series. I don't know where you'd find the first two. It's called Baki the Grappler because Netflix does not seem to want to get that on there. Uh, might be tough then. Uh, yeah, I'll call that a, a wrap for Sunburn for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, be sure to watch. Uh, or be sure to like the video if you're enjoying the series. Uh, we'll see how well these videos do. 
I expect that part one will do pretty well. Uh, part two and three might do okay. I think part four, the one we're on right now, is where the views are going to start to go down a little bit. But I think I could feasibly be done with this in like maybe like two more videos, two or three more videos, maybe like one more stream, maybe two. Uh, but I'm having a blast. This is a great way to replay Sunshine. Uh, it's it's fulfills my needs of wanting to play Sunshine again while also making it like super fucking accessible and just like a lot of really cool quality life stuff. So thank you, gamers. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.